Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Secondly, I need to clear the, the mystery created by Umgurus Kaseija. What I told him that uh, if my daughters did, then I was likely to reach 100. This was because some of them were roasting their hair. And whenever I see a black woman roasting her hair, I really go mad. I get so annoyed. Of course, it, it affects my, my ears to stay, because if I go on being angry, angry. So I, I, I told them, I told my daughter that, please, if you want me to reach 100, stop roasting your hair. Because they were sita, did enough work, you are all very beautiful. Why do you want to look like Indians? You are not Indians, you are from the Basita clan. So I, I think now I'm going, to, because they have all changed, they are like their mother here. <laughs> now, I think these preachers here of today, we are sent by God directly. Some of the others of the, of the others come in directly, but I think these ones for today they have been sent by God directly because the story of the URA is the story of some Josephs quite a bit of Judases and some grasshoppers. They are all there. Jesus was lucky, but he was also not lucky. He, he struggled. Because you remember his disciples were originally 72. I can see some of you have forgotten the, the, the story. Because you, all, you always talk of the 12, 12. No. If I remember my scripture of Chiamate, where Bishop Ahimsibu is coming from, I think the original there was 72. Now, I don't remember exactly how he reduced them, but he reduced them to 12. Now, and these 12 were supposed to be the best. I don't remember how he picked them. But within the 12, you had Judas. That's a percentage of about 10%. So Jesus is lucky, was lucky, because I also tried to do like Jesus did. Working with the Reverends Kayanja and others, I told the, I don't, I don't remember whom I told. I told Msinguzi, yes, Msinguzi was a student. I said, you look for me in the universities. Children who, are, who fear God. So that's how you got me all these, most of these people were, were from that group. From the religious uh, groups. But when they got in, yes, there were some uh, Josephs. But there were also quite a bit of Judases. And although you are congratulating yourselves, the performance doesn't lie. Performance. They had, they had given me a written speech. I said, no, I don't need a written speech. Everything is in my head. So... Don't waste my time. They are brought a speech here for reading. I said no. Because you know very well how we can assess whether you are a is doing well or not. It is a universal 
yardstick, which everybody knows, those who deal with economics. This is called the GDP tax ratio. Your chairman taxed, taxed a bit on it when he was finishing. We can know that the tax people are doing their work according to the GDP tax ratio. The people who are giving you aid, like Holland, the Netherlands, their tax GDP ratio is 40%. You can go and check. When I last checked many years ago, that was the figure. The Holland tax GDP ratio, 40%. In Africa, I hear that the average, Musingu, come and tell the, the country, because you are the one who invited the whole country to watch, you come and tell them. I'm not the one who, who invited them. What is the African average? Your Excellency, the average, the tax to GDP ratio for the sub Sahara Africa is 16%. And the whole of Africa? Uh, what causes the, the discrepancy? Some countries in Africa are very high and others are very low. But which, I think are the, which are the high ones? The high ones, Your Excellency, is South Africa. What is the percentage? 26. Ah, there you are. So, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, and, and in Europe, Europe, Europe. Your Excellency, most of the European countries are above 30. Some are 35. And indeed, as you indicated, Your Excellency, the highest is 40, 45. Yes. yes. So, that's how you know the size the size of the GDP, the size of the economy of the country is so much, a certain percentage of it is being paid in taxes. Now, of course, initially when we came from the bush, we didn't know this. That's why they said that the URA was formed in 1991. Initially, when we came to, to the, from the bush, we had people who, were, who had been in the Ministry of Finance, people like Kahoza, another man called Joseph Okune, Professor Murema. We said, you people, you have been here, you run the economy. I appointed Professor Murema as Minister of Finance. And we were busy fighting and all that. But after some time, uh, we put Dr. Kiyonga in finance. But after some time, we inquired, what is the problem? Why don't we have enough money? And what did we discover? You hear Holland, tax GDP ratio, 40%. Other European countries, 35%. African average, 16%. What was the GDP tax ratio of your country in 1989 90? 4%. 4%. People were collecting money, putting it in their pockets. So at that time, there was no Joshua at all. Is it Joshua? The, uh, jo Joseph. There was no Joseph. In the customs department. It were all Judases, 100%. So, that's how we came. But how can this be? And that's how we said, no, we must create a special department. That's how the, the idea of URA comes. And then we, 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 we start looking for the, uh, that's why they talk of 91. 91, which is when we realized that there was massive 
stealing, stealing. Because they were collecting the, 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 collecting the money, but not declaring it. So that's how we form URA 1991. And we bring all those people you have, you have been quoting here. Labiso, Rakakoko, all, all those. Okay, that time, the tax collection jumped to 11%. Of GDP from 4% to 11%. And it has stagnated there all this time. It has stagnated around 11%, 12%, now you are talking of 13%. What is the problem? So, yes, I got some uh, Josephs, but quite a lot of Judases. So, of course, now at least there are some Josephs. It's not like before, when it was 100% Judases. It's now um, Akatogo now, mixed. So that is the story of URA. I know the story here. The way I'm going to say, Kurokura, Akake Kurkabin Kakumanya, Kakafwa. The way I'm going to say that if you, are, if you had bad habits when you were young, it would be good the old woman who knew you to die so that you, you can tell lies when, when there's nobody who can say this, this one. But I am the old woman who is here. I know the story of URA. That's number one. Number two, the Bible. I think in the book of Matthew, it talks of blessed are the humble, for the, for, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Uh, the problem I have with the URA is arrogance. A mere hurro. Because even when you are underperforming, when some of us tell you, you don't listen. For instance, who is the director of customs? Is he here? Uh, come, come, come. 